of the lack of clean water what are the major environmental problems do you think hyderabad should aim to tackle soon so i think the uh, uh, see with corona and the kind of uh, dirty environment we have a right? very bad environment that we see it's all the littering that we do and and so much of piles and piles of garbage and and you, you just throw it anywhere i mean still you know if you go to other countries the moment you land in the country you know that you have to take care of your garbage but the moment you land in india you think it's your worth right to throw anything anywhere you know first thing is this habit of littering i think it's a behavior change and all educated people do this it's not even about uneducated and you have seen so many ads saying the uneducated clean up you know what the educated throw literally that so i would like to tell you about one clean up we did you know with um, dps um, and uh, oak ridge and another school uh, in one of the lakes so when the kids came initially to the lake they were very skeptical right whether it's so dirty and one glove and two gloves and how do i cover myself or oh, it stinks and i can't stand here anymore all of that right so what i did is all these sanitation workers uh, the garment workers i got them to stand in a line and i asked them to speak about what is their day like right and how they clean these dirty places every day I mean, that's their job and uh, some people spoke in telugu some people spoke in hindi some you know some in broken english but they told very beautifully how what their day is like you know you know you, the more you throw the more work for them and however dirty it is they have to pick it they don't have a choice they have to pick in the, you know bags in the middle of shit and they have to pick it they don't have a choice and the moment they started talking to all these kids i saw many kids you know tear up and many kids was became so emotional that you know they started connecting to what they do you know then i tell you they didn't fear anymore right they just went and cleaned up and they didn't care about the stench anymore they didn't care about so i felt that real story that you know that that they could hear this and they could connect with that emotion and and then all the kids at the end of the story they pledge that they will never you know overuse plastic they will reduce plastics in their lives because the only thing that we're picking out of the lakes was plastics because everything else decomposes plastics don't and plastics when exposed to sunlight they give out green gases which is so unhealthy so this was such a good example where kids understood and you know and after 2 hours i had to literally pull them out and say enough you know you can't stay in the waters anymore imagine so that was a behavior change right so starting from i don't want to touch anything to listening to these uh, you know stories and then going back and doing and just not stopping so that is what i think you know you had to connect with that emotion you had to connect with what is around you first you know you do you do you even know how many uh, insects are around you how many um, how much of life is around you there are so many birds so first time in our lake you know once we cleaned up and we could see a lot of water we got back so many birds to the lake and and that was such a moment because you know just imagine nature responding i don't care people respond or not of course they all did appreciate but nature responding is something you take of nature nature responds right you don't you don't need anybody else to do that birds just came back and more more and more you know frogs and turtles you know when we cleaned up we even took out we saved a turtle out of a plastic bag it, you know we saw something moving in a plastic bag and we opened it up and this turtle literally ran for its life and went back to the waters so these are things we've seen we've seen like birds legs uh, you know caught up in bottles and we've seen pl- in in plastic bottles and stuff so these are things that pains us you know when you see when you go but if you don't even go out then how do you know these things? you can't keep reading this in books i mean i feel you should be out there so when i do awareness for uh, kids your age actually i take them to our own traditional uh, wells traditional water systems and take them to polluted lakes and let them see what we had and how uh, you know earlier our kings managed water and what we have lost today and where are we heading and what is what are we supposed to do now so so taking them to these places i mean I, i'm sure you guys if i take you to a temple 
there's so much more knowledge right you 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 gather you you want to know so many things but if i just sit you uh, sit here and uh, tell you a lot of things out of the book or where you say it in a very theoretical way it doesn't connect right so i'm just looking forward for those days you know once this um you know we go past this corona challenge um that is what i want to do i mean getting kids on ground you know take them to lake um, i've always done that you know lake clean ups uh, or you know talk them talk to them about water in um, you know sitting right next to a water structure it could, could be a polluted lake but why is it polluted why is it this today and why can't we avoid pollution and how how can we avoid pollution things like that you, once you know then you know how to tackle this problem there's no point i always feel i see this climate change um, black cards in a lot of kids hands and they you know fighting for climate change i don't believe in that dharna kind of a thing i believe like take up a street you know take up something and make that change you know get get a behavior change in uh, people and i feel that's the real change you know no point uh, you, you know these um, black cards and this might work in other countries but not in ours we have too many problems we need to be out there solving because i feel there are too many talkers too many thinkers there are no doers right we just need to go and do see i didn't know anything about a lake but i figured it out right now i know now i can advise people what to do first what to do last and what's the challenge and what's not a challenge what will work and what will not right so i feel you know all of us should be those karma yogis we have to just do you know the doing is what we need to adopt and and as youngsters that's the only thing you should do you know do explore you know walk out see your world around you don't stay in this box turn thing like right? you know very cushioned life get out of your comfort zones understand what's life around you maybe you will uh, become a problem solver then right 